This is huge, guys. This is way bigger than this election. The election's important. I'm not saying the election is not important. It's extremely important. But but we are in the middle of something way, 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 way bigger than who wins this election tonight. So I just want to kind of put things in perspective. Okay. So, but let's get back to the election. So, because I want to make sure that everybody understands. I know everybody's saying this today, but no matter what happens today, no matter what we find out, it probably won't be today. It'll probably be in the next couple of days. Cause for some reason, now all of a sudden they can't count everything up and one night like they have always been able to do before. But anyway, that's beside the point. So whatever we find out in the next couple of days, whichever way it goes, no matter what they say, God is on the throne. God is not going to be surprised. God knows exactly what's going to happen. And God, no matter how it feels to us, no matter how we feel, God has not forsaken us. He has not abandoned us. No matter how it, how hard or difficult times may get in the future, God will be right there with us, walking through it with us. So we know what we want. We know what we think would be best, you know, but God, what God allows, sometimes there's a great mystery to it. So, but, you know, I mean, I'm right there with you praying for, you know, the, the outcome that I think most of us are probably praying for, hoping for. So, so, and that's, <laughs> let's keep on praying, keep on lifting it up to God. So, but remember, no matter what happens, no matter what God is on the throne, God is sovereign. There is no demon in hell, not even Satan himself can, is strong enough to stop God from doing whatever God wants to do. So, but sometimes often, in fact, almost all the time, God chooses to accomplish his will through us, through his, his people. All right. So we know what the prophets, the prophetic people, what they're saying now. We also know what they said in 2020. And so for some reason, four years ago, God allowed a lot of the prophetic people to put out words that then turned out to look very differently than what we thought they were going to look like. So I just want you, I just want to put that, I don't want to burst anybody's bubble. I just want all of us to be looking to Jesus, looking to God and, and keeping in mind that he is sovereign and we are going to pray. We're going to pray our hearts out. We're not going to stop, <laughs> but God is sovereign. God reigns. So now for me personally, um, God hasn't told me anything. So I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what's going to happen, but um, the only thing God has told me, the same thing I've been talking about and the same thing he's told, you know, thousands and thousands of other people is that no matter what happens, we are getting ready to go through some difficult times, regardless of how this election turns out or what they say. Um, and so we need to be preparing for that. So we need to be, um, no matter what happens, we need to be conducting ourselves uh, in alignment with the fruit of the spirit. We need to be demonstrating the love of Jesus Christ and yeah, that's all I have to say about that.